Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I will show you how you can create your own WordPress website with EasyWP Hosting. EasyWP is a cloud-based managed WordPress hosting offered by Namecheap and if you are not sure this is the right hosting for you or not, you can check out my review video in which I will show you all the features of EasyWP Hosting, do some performance testing, see how many visitors load it can handle and also compare it with other hosting providers like Bluehost, GoDaddy and Namecheap's own shared hosting. So now let's start this tutorial. So first thing you have to do is just go to my website. Its link will be in the description. Here you will see this blog post and go to cons of EasyWP hosting. Okay, so here you will see this. Here you will see some plugins which are blocked by EasyWP. So I would strongly recommend you to just check out this list and see if you are using any of this plugin or if any of this plugin is crucial for you. Most of the plugins are not very important and Namecheap has also given reason why they do not allow those plugins. So just go through the list and see if anything is important for you. After reviewing this list, just scroll up from here, go to hosting and click on WordPress hosting here. On this page click on see pricing scroll down and you will see all the plans offered by EasyWP hosting. So there are three plans EasyWP starter, the EasyWP turbo and EasyWP supersonic. I would not recommend the starter plan because it do not comes with the SSL certificate which is essential for any website today. So if you want to get a better deal you can click on the bill yearly option and you will get this discount offers so for this tutorial purpose i'm going to select the monthly plan namecheap also recommends the turbo plan as the best choice plan so if you decide to go with the turbo plan click on get turbo here on this page you will have to create an account with namecheap to do so just click on sign up here on this page you will have to fill some simple personal details like name, email address, username, password and if you want to receive marketing emails you can take this option. If you do not want to just untick up this option and then click on sign up. Now since I already have an account with Namecheap so what I will do is click on sign in here and log in using my existing credential. On this page you will have to confirm your purchase and complete the payment. To select a payment method just click here and you will see multiple options you can select any of the payment methods from here so i will complete my payment and then show you the next step after completing your payment you will see this page here you will have to select a name for your website for my website i have selected this name smart help guides tutorials and the next step is to select the type of website you want to create but this is completely optional so i will click on continue Step 2 is to select a domain name for your website. Now if you do not have any domain name, just continue with the first option and for now we will use the temporary domain provided by EasyWP. In case you already own a domain name and it is on Namecheap, you can select the second option and from here you will see all the domains connected to your Namecheap account and you can select that domain. Now if you have your domain is on some other registrar like GoDaddy, you will have to select this third option and then continue. So for this tutorial, we are going to select the first option and then click on continue. On third step, EasyWP offers you some plugins to install, but we do not want to install it right now. So we will just click on continue and skip this step. On final step four, just review the details you have entered before and do not worry, you can change all these details later which will be a website name and this is just a temporary domain so we will buy our domain anyway later and then click on continue and that's it guys our wordpress website setup is complete here you can see your website details this is the domain name temporary domain name your website name the plan you have selected, renewal date, WordPress version installed, and this is a button to log into the WordPress admin area. So first thing we will do is 
check our website see if it is working right now just open it in a new tab and you can see our wordpress website is live and is working now let's go back to the ezwp dashboard now click on this admin button here it will directly log you into the wordpress dashboard area This is the admin area of your WordPress website. From here, you can manage everything about your WordPress website. It's settings, theme, design, create post, pages, everything. Now, I will show you some quick settings about WordPress to help you get started. First thing we will do is go to settings here. Go to permalinks. And make sure that it is selected to post name here. If it is selected to any of this option, change to post name, scroll down and click on save changes. Hello world is a default demo post on all WordPress installations. So we will delete it and to do so, just um, go to this post here and click on trash option here. And it has been deleted. So now let's create a new post. Click on add new here. Add your post title here. Then write your post here. And click on publish. It has been published. You can click on this option view post. And that's how simple it is to publish any post on WordPress. And if you're interested in learning all settings of WordPress, and learn how to publish your post properly with images and all and change your design you can watch my other videos so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful and in the next video i will show you how to change this temporary domain and show you all the settings of ezwp hosting so that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video